Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the GDB stepping command for ESP32 JTAG debug. So, in previous video, we have seen lots of uh, continue command. The continue command will continuously run the call until it meets one breakpoint. Okay. So for the stepping command is to run the code by steps. And we have three type of uh, three types of stepping command. One is next, another one is step, the last one is until. Okay. So let's take a look how we uh, use these three stepping command to debug our code. Okay. So first, uh, let's open our code here. This is our Blink example code. Uh, this is all the original code. We no need to change it. And we, uh, we just compile it. We open our ESP32 compile environment, command line compile environment, OK? So we go into our folder. And we use IDFPY to compile it. We only compile the app application code. Generate, generating the link file. Link ELF file. Okay, it finished. So we uh, next step we download it. We use the fresh command to download it, or you can just use the app uh, fresh command to download it. So it's downloading. So next step we need to open another command line interface to run the open OCD. Okay, here we run the open OCD. Listen to the port here for the GDB connection. And we will run the GDB here. We input the GDB command here. It's reading, reading the ELF file. So it's running here. Okay. So it hit the temporary breakpoint at this position. So it's here. It's here, okay. At this line, uh, 73 is this line. Stop here, okay. So the first command, uh, let's take a look. The first command is next, okay. So how to run it? How to run the next command? So we can just uh, type the next. Uh, it will run the next command run this line. Okay, let's take a look at the code. So it already runs this line and stop here. This is 76. And this is 76. Stop here. And it's already run this line. And the next. So also you can use n to do the same function. You can also input n to do the same function. Okay. Okay, so it's already run this call. Okay. So you stop here. 77 is stop here. It's already finished this call. Okay. So for the n, it has some other 
uh, it has one more function we can run how many steps so it's n input n and if let's say we want to run two steps so input two here and press enter okay so it's already stopped here it's already stopped here so it means it runs this code and this code this two step and stop here and stop this line uh, 80 okay it stop here for the end command so you will notice for the next command for the next command you will notice one thing it will not step into this function uh, it also will not step into any function just uh, run for one night one step okay let's run it again n okay the n means next okay it go back to here esp log information okay so it means it already run for this line okay so this is the next command this is the next command how about the uh, uh, step command how about the step command for this the difference between the step and the next is the step command will able to step into the function okay let's take a look how we do it okay so we already stop here we already stop here let's run one more next function make it stop in at this position blink led okay just a moment okay it stop at this position blink led and now we will use the step we can type step or we can type s so press enter so you will see here it stop at this this line 57 at this code so it stop here 57 gpio set level at this line it means the step already going to the blink led function okay the step already going to the blink led function so if you want to go into the gpio set level function you can continue to use the step okay so now it go inside uh, the gpio.c file uh, at this position okay so we can open this file to take a look uh, where it is is at this folder uh, let's let me open it so is uh, this file we select this path first and we copy it and we put it here uh, put it here and we press enter it will call the visual studio code to automatically open this file okay so for this file this line okay 226 is this line 226 we can use the go and go to light and this is 226 go to this line so it will be here so this is a gpio set level function it's already go inside the function and stop at this position okay 
at this position. So it means the S, uh, the S can, the step, uh, the step function can go inside, uh, go inside the function and run the call one night, uh, step by steps. Okay. So we have already used the step function inside this uh, this debug function. How we how we come out? How we get out of the function? We can use the finish command. Okay. You also can type like fin to to do the same function with the finish command. Okay. We press enter. So you will see uh, the breakpoint is already be is already here. Is already in the blink LED, and this line is here. Is already come back to this position. Okay. So this is. This is uh, uh, this is the call stop position, okay. So it means already um, come back, go out of the function, okay. So this is a finish function, and this is uh, step step function. This is the step command for the GDB. The step command can go into the debug function. And the next command will uh, go over, go over the function. Okay, so let's take a look at another one. Until the so until function is to uh, is also run the code by steps, but is is a little bit different. Okay, so let's go back to code, and uh, let's. Uh, Stop the. Let's create breakpoint at this line, okay. So we use the break function to create one breakpoint at this line, okay. Seventy six, and we use the continue continue command to run the call. And stop the call at this position at the breakpoint position. Okay, continue to run it. So it will stop here. It will stop at this position, and we use the until until command to run the call. So until you can edit the line number. So let's say it's eighty. Eighty. So it means we run the call from this position seventy seven to the eighty. Okay. Press enter. So you will see it is stop here. So for the until command it will run the code to the until the line numbers. Okay. So first we stop here. And we use until command to run the code to this line. So it's until eight command. Okay. So this is the uh, three steps, three stepping command for the GDB. By using this three step command, we can uh, debug the code very conveniently. Okay. Very convenient. It is very convenient for us to debug it. Okay. Okay, so this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.